Hello guys, it's TPM5 with another NBA video, and this one I have some exciting news. The Phoenix Suns have signed Terrence Ross after a buyout was completed with the Orlando Magic. Adrian Wojnarowski has reported that Ross plans to join the Suns after the buyout is confirmed. This is obviously a big get for the Phoenix Suns as... Uh, Ross was meant to be going to the Mavericks, but obviously completed a bit of a U-turn once Monty Williams and the new owner of the Phoenix Suns joined the pursuit. Now, Terrence Ross is an incredibly athletic scorer who's proven uh, throughout his time in the league to be a real significant uh, scorer and you know role player, averaging 11 points on 42% from the field, but 36% from three on five attempts. So it can be a great complementary piece to their all-star core now of Booker, uh, Kevin Durant, and uh, DeAndre Ayton, and Chris Paul. They have a really good team going on there, and he helps fill in some of the depth that they lost in that trade. Obviously, they had to trade away Jay Crowder, Mikael Bridges, uh, and obviously uh, Cam Johnson went as well. So getting someone like Terrence Ross who can fill in the scoring and shooting that was lost is very important. Now, it is worth paying attention to the fact that Terrence Ross, in the last time he played significant minutes in the NBA, was averaging 15.6 points in 2021. Ever since then, uh, you know, and it's kind of correlated with these trade rumors that we've seen him in for the past two deadlines. His minutes dropped significantly down from 29 to 23 and over the span of a year, from 2020 to 2021. So it looks like uh, he'll be getting similar minutes that he had in Orlando, if not more, because his Phoenix Suns team is quite thin, despite the incredible move of getting Kevin Durant in. Obviously, the West is very open, and it's important, and it's crucial uh, for Phoenix how the Mavs are ahead of them on the tiebreaker, I believe currently the fourth seed while the Suns are the fifth. This is a good get to get because it prevents the Mavs from getting any better from attaining Terrence Ross. Now when you also look at Terrence Ross, he's a guy that is just more particularly on his skill set on offense. I'm pretty sure you guys all know, but he's very athletic. He's often finishing off plays with dunks. He can cut back door. He can catch and shoot, you know, the three ball. And he doesn't always need the ball in his hands. But in saying that, if you want him to lead a second unit or be on a second unit and play a significant role, he can get create for himself. And some of the gravity he can take towards the basket can create for others. Obviously, uh, here we have Cam Johnson. He got traded. But, um, you know, you fill in a little bit of that shooting that you've lost and ideally, uh, you look at the depth chart now, you could possibly start him at the three ahead of Torrey Craig, but you probably will put him directly into heavy minutes as a backup shooting guard or small forward. So it's a very, it's a very positive move for the Suns to regain some depth that they lost. And obviously, the team as a whole this season has uh, been 16th in offensive rating and 7th in defensive rating. It does look likely that that will be a bit of a 360 given the defensive pieces that they have traded away, but then obviously the offensive pieces that they have acquired. I think that this also supports the Suns in their move of, you know, let's outscore the opponent than rather keep the opponent down on defense. Obviously, Terrence Ross will help them, and they have another roster spot open if I remember correctly, so they could be on the lookout for another piece. Uh, I guess an area of weakness could be that center spot. So getting a backup center to be behind Aiton potentially could be something they look for. And you also look at the Suns, you know, it's a big win getting him, boost the backup. Uh, depth in the wings and also helps their offense which has been rather lackluster obviously most of the impacts and increases in that over the coming games will be from Kevin Durant however you shore up the bench and you get a guy who can play significant minutes for you come playoffs time and has actually done that and had experience before they get a veteran that's gonna be very helpful now that will do it for the video don't forget to like and subscribe also comment and until next time peace out thank you for watching